Hey kids, let's learn about the composition of soil in this lesson. So when we talk about the composition of soil, we all know that soil, it is made up of fine particles, right? And what these fine particles are, let's have a look at them. So the first and the very important thing that is found in soil is the minerals. So minerals, they are found in the soil, right? They make up the soil. And what are these minerals? Well, these minerals are basically formed by the breakdown of large rocks. And some of the most common examples of these minerals, these can be anything, right? From iron, they can be potassium, they can be magnesium, calcium, sulfur and many more. And some of these minerals are required by the plant for their proper growth and for the preparation of the food as well. So these are the minerals which form the primary part or the primary element of the formation of soil. Now next to these we will see the second very important thing which forms soil is the humus. Okay. Now what is humus? Here we see that it is formed due to the decomposition of dead and decomposing plants and animals. So when plants and animals they get decomposed, okay, they get mixed up with these minerals and we see that this is what you call humus in here. The organic part of the soil is called humus, okay. And in organic part mainly we see that it is formed by the minerals. Now why is this humus very important? It is so because first of all it improves the texture of the soil. Second, we will see that improves the fertility up to many folds, okay. Similarly, we see that it prevents the flow of minerals along with water and also it improves the water percolation, meaning that the water can easily absorb in the soil in the presence of humus. Now, besides these, we see that there are few more important components in which there is water, then there is air and besides these two, there are a number of living organisms. So with living organisms, if you say these are the plants only which are staying, not actually, okay. We will see what are these, but first of all, let's see water and air. Now we just said that for the formation of humans, we need the dead and decomposing animals and plants. Now what are those decomposers? Well these decomposers are the living organisms which are found in the soil. And these living organisms, they require water and air to perform this process of decomposition. So water and air of course, it is primarily required by the plant to perform respiration and also the water is required for the process of photosynthesis for the plants to make their own food, right? But besides that, the water and air is very, very important by these living organisms as well as they perform the process of decomposition and in the formation of humus, alright. Now coming to the living organisms and seeing them in detail, here we observe that these living organisms, they can be earthworm. We all know what are earthworms, right. Besides earthworms, there can be microscopic bacteria. There can be fungi. Also, there are a number of other insects present such as millipede and centipede, okay. So, these can be found in the soil. Now, coming to the function, we see first of all the earthworms. So, earthworms, they are called the farmer's friend. Why is that so? Well, because earthworms, they are worms, right? They are very, very thin and when they move into the soil, they form burrows. These burrows are very important as they provide spaces for the water and air to move into the soil. Also, these spaces can be very useful for the roots to spread out, okay? So, earthworm, they are very, very important. One more thing that earthworms do is that they eat up the organic matter and their excreta, the earthworms excreta is very useful for the soil and for the plants to grow, alright. So that is why we say that the earthworms, they are called the farmer's friend. Now, 
Coming to bacteria and fungi, we see that these are the main decomposing organisms which are present in the soil. So they decompose the dead and decaying organic matter such as plants and animals and they convert them into humus. We know what are the uses now. Next is millipedes and centipedes. Well, these are not really very useful for the soil. They can be harmful also as they destroy a number of plants, their roots, etc. So here we see that the main constituents of soil, they are minerals and humus. Besides these two, there is water, air and living organisms also found in the soil. They say that the number of living organisms found on, above the soil are lesser than the found below the soil. So you can imagine that how many number of living organisms are present inside there. So this was about the composition of soil.